how in the hell do you get fired on your day off? How does your show get canceled before it even premieres? Better yet, how many times can Don Lemon lose a job in 12 months? If you're counting at home, the number is now two. He was fired from CNN around this time last year, and now his new partnership with Twitter has ended before it could even begin. Well, KC, don't you mean X? No, I hate that name or letter. It sounds like it could be the next letter in LGBTQIA++ X. Obviously, it would represent those special birthing persons who choose to identify as X-Men. Back in January, Don, he took his hands off his lemons for a brief moment to type out an exciting announcement to his lonely male followers on social media. Hey friends, it's me, Donnie. Oh, I've missed you guys and I know you've missed me too. But I have great news. I convinced Elon Musk to give me millions of dollars to watch the new and improved Don Lemon Show on Twitter. You guys will be so proud. I played the diversity card to get this brand new deal. I'm a dual diversity representer. Not only am I a black man, I also rep the G's and LGBT. I'm so excited. Woohoo! Auga! Auga! Um, if I remember correctly, when Don Lemon made this announcement, he claimed that he was going to use his new platform to be a champion for free speech. This was not going to be the same Don Lemon that polluted the airways with toxic mouth farts for over a decade at CNN. This wasn't going to be the same Don Lemon who spent years spreading lies and propaganda. Donnie, he was borrowing a strategy from his favorite former free agent. His former partner in the butt bongo band at CNN, Chris Cuomo. Hey, it's me, Chrissy C. Remember when Chrissy was begging to get back into the mainstream media? He marketed himself as the biggest free agent in media, claimed to be excited to finally be able to be himself. We were finally going to see the real Chrissy C now that he wouldn't be constrained by corporate media. Same thing here with Don Lemon. Donnie was turning over a new cucumber. The Donnie that we have known for decades? That wasn't the real Lemon. We were finally going to experience the real Don Lemon. But alas, it just wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Earlier this afternoon, Don Lemon, he released a startling statement. I don't know about you guys, but since this deal was announced back in January, I have been counting down the days, waiting for Donnie's big premiere on Twitter. We are 35 days away from Donnie Uncensored. Unfortunately, we will never be able to experience Donnie Uncensored on Twitter. According to Donnie, that asshole Elon Musk, he canceled the partnership before Donnie could even hold his hand. Elon canceled my show. <laughs> he promised to give me a platform because I represent diversity. But Elon Musk, he doesn't want Donnie exercising his free speech. Apparently, something happened between Elon Musk and Don Lemon during their interview last Friday. This interview was going to be the first episode of The Don Lemon Show, and it was set to premiere next Monday. First of all, what the hell's Elon Musk doing? Why in the hell would you agree to an interview with Don Lemon? This dude, Elon Musk, he is very powerful. He could be interviewed by anyone. Joe Rogan, Howard Stern, Glenn Beck, the Wicked Weave of the Woke, Joy Reid. You know, people with an actual audience. Of all the people that Elon Musk could give an interview to, he gives it to Don Lemon? Why? Well, KC, they were business partners. Maybe Elon Musk wanted to give the interview to someone exclusive to Twitter. Okay, that makes sense. Fair enough. I can understand that. But with that being the case, why not give it to Tucker Carlson? Tucker Carlson is someone that people actually watch and respect. Either way, Elon Musk, he decided to be the first guest on the new and improved Don Lemon show. Another former star in the mainstream media who has absolutely no originality when coming up with a show title for his new show. Something happened during this interview though, and it's unclear at this point what exactly happened. Matter of fact, 
No one besides Donnie and Elon Musk knows what the hell happened. Donnie, he uploaded a video to Twitter this morning where he vaguely explains what might have occurred. Watch for yourself. Elon Musk is mad at me. And I just put out a statement about what happened between him, me, and the interview that he is apparently so upset about. This does not change anything about the show except for my relationship with Elon and X. And there, there's a whole lot that went down and I'm gonna tell you about in the coming days. I know though that many of you were not happy that I was doing this in the first place and you told me so. I just want you to know that I did this deal because not only do I believe in free speech, but I believed that this was the best possible chance for the work that I'm doing to reach the largest amount of people. So speaking of free speech, right? I thought the first person interview, no brainer, Elon Musk, the man who calls himself a free speech absolutist. Throughout our conversation, I kept reiterating to him that although it was tense at times, I thought it was good for people to see and hear our exchange and that they would learn from our conversation, learn more about him, learn more about me. But apparently free speech absolutism doesn't apply when it comes to questions about him from people like me. Okay, so we know the interview was tense. We know there was a heated exchange, maybe even two. But according to Don Lemon, everyone went home in peace. Elon Musk didn't cut the interview short. He didn't hurt Donnie's feelings. He didn't storm out in a fit of rage. Everyone left in peace. Hours after their conversation last Friday, Don Lemon claims that he was told by Elon Musk that their partnership was dissolved. Translation... Twitter was no longer willing to donate millions of dollars in woke welfare to Don Lemon. Okay, that was last Friday, almost a week ago. So why did Don Lemon wait until this afternoon to break this news on social media? Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder if he waited so this would build anticipation and controversy before the interview is released next Monday. If so... Credit to Don Lemon, that's a smart move. But I can already see how this narrative is going to be twisted by the mainstream media. If you were paying close attention to that clip I just shared with you, Don Lemon subtly revealed the preferred narrative. Free speech absolutism doesn't apply when it comes to questions about him coming from people like me. <laughs> There it is. There is the victim card. People like me. What Don Lemon is really saying here is that free speech on Twitter doesn't apply if you're a gay black man. Now, obviously, that is complete bullshit. Elon Musk is not silencing Don Lemon. Hell, he didn't even remove him from the platform. Donnie still has the right to upload this interview on Twitter. I would assume that he also has the right to earn ad revenue. The only thing that has changed, Elon Musk is refusing to give him money. Elon Musk no longer wants to be business partners with Don Lemon. As the owner of the platform, Elon Musk is well within his rights to do that. If he doesn't want to do business with someone, he doesn't have to. Now, of course, the shit fucks in the mainstream media, they are twisting this into an attack on free speech. The same people who were calling for doctors to be banned from social media for presenting information about the COVID that didn't fit the media narrative. Those people are now complaining about free speech. So that is Donnie's side of the story. He asked Elon Musk questions that he didn't appreciate. And because these questions were being asked by someone who checks multiple woke boxes, Elon Musk just canceled their business deal. Now, according to Elon Musk, there's actually a logical reason for the cancellation of Don Lemon. Check it out for yourself. You know, I'm a dumbass. I really believed Don Lemon when he told me that he had changed. I really believed him when he said he was held back by CNN. But after sitting with him for an hour, I have come to the realization that Don Lemon is a grade A doofus. Basically, Elon Musk is saying that he dissolved the partnership because Don Lemon didn't hold up his end of the deal. According to Elon Musk, Donnie, he was trying to bring CNN to Twitter. As you guys know, that strategy only ends one way. Huge embarrassing failure. Why in the hell would you want to emulate CNN on social media? CNN's not working on cable where the audience tends to be older. I could understand if CNN was a success, but 
The network is sinking faster than a boat with the Lizzo as the only passenger. I guess we'll find out on Monday who's telling the truth here. In fairness to Don Lemon, Elon Musk is kind of known for his erratic behavior. He is known for making rash decisions based purely on emotion. That being said, I looked at the list of people I trust. Don Lemon did not make the list. And neither did Elon Musk for that matter. Honestly, this really isn't a good look for Elon Musk. Don Lemon is right about one thing. Elon Musk claims to be all about free speech, which is great. I don't agree with Don Lemon, but that doesn't mean that I want him to be silenced either. But at this point, we all know exactly who Don Lemon is. When Elon Musk agreed to this deal with him, he knew exactly who Don Lemon was. So, it shouldn't have been all that surprising when they sit down for an interview and Don Lemon acts like Don Lemon. When someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. We've got over 10 years of Don Lemon showing us exactly who he is. Just because Elon Musk entered into a business deal with Don Lemon, that doesn't mean that you have to give him an interview. They could have agreed to the deal and Elon Musk could just let Don Lemon do his own thing. Let him interview Al Sharpton, let him talk with Megan Rapino, and they can entertain dozens of viewers with their fantasies of victimization. But it does kind of look bad for Elon Musk, not that he probably cares, but it does kind of look bad to enter into a deal with Don Lemon, agree to be interviewed by him, and then when things don't go your way, you immediately dissolve the partnership. I mean, within hours of the interview, the deal was canceled. That is the very definition of a decision being made purely out of emotion. Elon Musk, he complained that Don Lemon wasn't being authentic. Um, of course he's not authentic. This dude has been a pretender for years. You knew that before you made the deal with him. You know, I do have another theory here. This could all be a publicity stunt. From what I understand, even though Elon Musk canceled the partnership, Twitter is still liable here. They still had to pay Don Lemon either way. Maybe. Maybe Elon Musk and Don Lemon came together and created a fake argument, a fake controversy to build anticipation for the first episode of the Don Lemon show on Twitter. I mentioned this earlier. Don Lemon waited five days to announce that the deal was canceled. Elon Musk, he canceled the deal last Friday. Don Lemon waited until today to announce it publicly. Why? Maybe, just maybe, Donnie and Elon are working in collusion. They are fake fighting with each other to bring awareness to the interview and to the platform. I guess we'll see in a couple of weeks if and when Elon Musk magically decides to keep his deal with Don Lemon. But give me your thoughts on this. Don Lemon gets fired on his day off. His partnership with Twitter just dissolved before it even begins. What do you think happened here? We've got Donnie's side, and we kind of have Elon's side. Donnie claims that Elon Musk got pissed because someone who checks multiple woke boxes was asking questions that he didn't appreciate. Elon Musk claims that Don Lemon was trying to bring CNN onto Twitter. Who do you believe? Or could my outlandish theory be true? Could Donnie and Elon be working together to create controversy and bring attention to the show? You let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.